explained. This joint press conference is under the auspices of the Strategic Communication Interagency Advisory Policy Committee coordinated by the Office of the National Security Advisor. Now, this committee serves as the umbrella body for the spokespersons of all Nigerian security and response agencies, facilitating unified and strategic communication to highlight the collective activities of our agencies over the past one year. I must add that the activities are as a result of our coordinated efforts to enhance national security and protect the lives and properties of our citizens. It is indeed important to emphasize that the key to our successes and achievements recorded in the last one year has been the robust interagency collaboration. These collaborations have ensured that our security operations are comprehensive, they are strategic, and they are effective. It is worthy of note to state that not all our results can be reported at this time. This is as a result of the sensitive nature of some of the informations which are linked to ongoing operations as well as future operations. Nevertheless, we will share as much as we can from the security and the defense sector. This, we believe, will go a long way to counter misinformation, disinformation, and fake news. We also hope to galvanize support of citizens for ongoing operations across the country as well as involve the citizens in our dealing with the security challenges across the country. Now, I will begin with the Office of the National Security Advisor. There's need to look at what the office has done over the past one year. The Office of the National Security Advisor has been pivotal in coordinating national security strategies and ensuring synergy among various security agencies. During the period, the Office of the National Security Advisor successfully hosted the high-level African counterterrorism meeting. The meeting brought together African heads of governments, including our Commander-in-Chief, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who served as the host president. It also brought the United Nations Deputy Secretary General and leaders of other key global bodies. The discussions during the meeting focused on stability in the Sahel region. Overall, at the end of it all, the discussions garnered significant commitments to combat terrorism and violent extremism. Relatedly, the Office of the National Security Advisor also facilitated the second leg of the United Kingdom, Kingdom Nigeria Security and Defense Dialogue, bringing together security and defense chiefs from both countries. Furthermore, 
in collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Office of the National Security Advisor initiated a series of economic security measures against currency manipulators and speculators. The Office of the National Security Advisor also coordinated efforts in the areas of human security and food security. There were also significant interventions to resolve several national issues. All these are in consonance with the increasing population-centric approach to national security since the beginning of the current administration. I will now move over to the armed forces of Nigeria and the defense. So forget about whether the NSA has called for the full implementation of the Cyber Crime Act. The police can lay their hands on any laws to prosecute anybody. And mind you, the fact that somebody is a journalist doesn't mean he has immunity against certain things. You are criminally liable once an offense has been laid against you. And the police has the duty to take it off. All Nigerians, they have their fundamental human rights and they need to enjoy their fundamental human rights. We have cases that people have been raising allegations against the police on this issue of implementation of Cyber Crime Act uh, 2024 as amended. I, let me put it on record that if you, a petition has been written against you as a journalist, I think the best thing you should do as a trained journalist, a certified journalist, is to honor that invitation and get across to the office of the first bureau. None of them that have been victimized, quote and unquote, according to you, have not contact, contacted me. They will not. And I want us to get it clear that most of these people, everybody is a journalist, most of them will practice in journalism in Nigeria. But the fact is, we have not, the police has not arrested anybody from any mainstream media per se. Even if they invite you, people here can testify to it. They will reach out to me and I will call the IPO that was the matter. Nobody. But most of these bloggers that are coming up now, they always run foul of the law because they want to break the news. You can't break the news without confirming from the parties involved. And you need to balance your story. And once you are invited to come and clarify issues, don't run away from the police. We are human beings like you. We are complete homo sapiens sapiens like you. So come to us. We'll be able to assess this. And don't say uh, because they have been arrested, they, they were adopted. I, I disagreed and I challenged some platforms why you say security operators and get adopted journalists. They, they, we, we don't adopt. We arrest. And if the arrest is wrong, you tell us why the arrest is wrong. Then we tell you why the arrest is right. We, we, we face challenges because many... Um, of you don't really understand the legal framework. Where the law is applicable, if you are not aware, you pick an offense against us for enforcing the law. All enforcers, uh, law enforcers uh, in Nigeria are bound to experience all this, it's not only the police. So I want to clear this, I've clarified this, that we are not obliged to even send invitation to any suspect in the first instance. It's just a mark of respect. We are sending to, there's no law that says you must invite somebody before you carry on with your investigation. No. We can only honor you by saying, okay, let's extend the invitation to him. Let him come and explain. But where you don't honor invitation, we'll go to court and get a warrant. Once we have that warrant, we can even declare you wanted. That's the law. We can declare you wanted and you can arrest you anywhere. The only place you can arrest maybe you are in the hallow chamber of the National Assembly or any house of assembly, or you are in the church, you can still respect you that in the church. Anywhere you are, they can pick you. We don't adopt we arrest. And once you're on bail, once you have been arrested, your statement um, is taken under caution. In the law, you are to be granted bail to a substantive surety. And that's another problem. You don't tell me your police in your office will stand surety for you. No. If you are not a substantive surety, the police will not release you, uh, you any, anybody to you. We need to get it right. And once you're on bail and you jump bail again, the surety can be arrested to replace you, or we still look for you by all means. So it let us, uh, gentlemen of the press, it is not that we are applying cyber crime acts to which wants you, to harass you, to oppress you, or we don't want to support um, uh, freedom of the press in Nigeria. No, it 
is not so. Let us rather talk to ourselves, and we are thinking to have a joint, uh, a joint um, workshop so that we understand certain things. Where somebody is right, if you want to write, I'm not saying you should not be a whistleblower, but if you want to be a whistleblower, you must get your fact right. And where we are investigating, we have stumbled on certain contents on your phone that you are demanding for ransom that if you don't want me to publish, pay me one million error. That is not a journalist. That is not journalism. So let us get it right. If you want clarification, we are going to give you information on certain things. On, but when we get to the bridge, we shall cross the bridge. But there are so many things we are still keeping now. We don't want to be parading certain journalists. But we have seen, as stumbled, and we've covered content, enticing content, that some of them are demanding for ransom. If you don't want me to publish, give me so so million of dollars. And those big ones that you think they are big, it's going to surprise you by the time you want to expose their deals. 